Hello, this is Mike again with the SEO Alien, and we had a couple questions come in through email. We've also had these questions before when we're talking with live audiences, and that's regarding duplicate feeds and how to prevent duplicate posts on your different social networking sites. And it is uh, something we see all the time. Uh, in fact, we even sometimes make the mistake ourselves and like put a feed into a duplicate feed resulting in a duplicate post. So what this is about is how to avoid duplicate feeds resulting in duplicate posts. But first, let's just talk a little bit more about what a duplicate feed is. A duplicate feed is sending your content like a link or an article out on a feed or RSS feed, spreading it to several different locations or, or several different websites. And through the automated feed process, it ends up in one common location. Again, uh, basically, folks, it results in a duplicate post of the same content on the same page. And sometimes you'll see it one post after the other, bam, 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 because they all get pulled in at the same time. Let's talk about the duplicate feed syndrome and how it works. If you want to post from WordPress, and any post you want in WordPress, you want to send it to Twitter, you can send it to Twitter. That's fine. It goes to Twitter as a nice little tweet. You can also have that go to Facebook, and that pulls in images and a backlink again to your blog. But what you don't want happening is you don't want Twitter posting the same tweet from WordPress to Facebook when WordPress already posted that same feed. And the way that's done is because we sometimes run too many applications and it results in the same post going to the same place, in this case Facebook. Let's throw in something like Hootsuite, uh, Twitter feed, Yahoo Pipes, FeedBurner, LinkedIn, which is another popular social site. You can use these, all these tools and many, many more, and it can get a little bit complicated. So here's an example. Let's say we used Hootsuite to run a feed from our WordPress blog or a similar feed that's coming from our WordPress blog. Then all of a sudden Hootsuite goes to Twitter. And Twitter uh, you might want to have it run to Facebook. So now you have that whole duplicate feed going from WordPress to Hootsuite to Twitter, from Twitter to Facebook. You also have WordPress to Facebook, but there's one more now. You have WordPress to Twitter to Facebook. So that would result in a triplicate feed on your Facebook page. Let's talk about how to avoid that. The first thing you need to do is create the best feed path for your feed. So step one, figure out your starting point. Now we always suggest WordPress as the starting point. Now that doesn't mean you can't have more than one starting point. The better you get at this, the more you know about it, you can you can have several starting points. In fact, we're going to talk about two. WordPress is just one of them. So WordPress we're going to start anything we post on WordPress goes to well, let's find the endpoints. So in this case, I want it to go to Twitter. I'd like it to go to Facebook. I'd also like it to go to LinkedIn. So I define my my exit paths or the end paths, if you were, will, where those will be posted. So in step three, let's define the best paths that we can take that feed on to be posted there. So what we suggest is just keep it simple. You have your WordPress blog. You're going to post an article, a video. It goes to Twitter. Now end that feed. WordPress goes to Facebook. End that feed. WordPress goes to LinkedIn. So take a look at what just happened. We post one article, one video, one post on WordPress, and boom, we had to go to three different locations. Now, the reason we don't like having a WordPress feed go to Twitter and then from Twitter to Facebook is because that WordPress feed typically is a video, typically has an image, and Twitter is not going to post that to Facebook. So when we say define the best path, Remember what that feed is going to look out, look look like, I should say, when it gets posted to where it's going to end up. So that's why we like WordPress. Now let's talk about Hootsuite. First of all, Hootsuite isn't something that you want to run the same feeds the same way uh, as your WordPress. So a lot of people might do by mistake at this point. So they might say, "Well, I'm going to have Hootsuite run my feeds too." Well, from Hootsuite you can run to Twitter and to Facebook and now you've got these feeds going in all these different circles. So what we suggest is use Hootsuite as a separate starting point. Remember earlier we said WordPress is a starting point? Well so is Hootsuite. Where do we want Hootsuite to go? Well Hootsuite we can tell it where to go. 
So we might have short little informative posts that we post to Twitter that are very short linking to an article. But it's a different subject, different title than your WordPress. Hootsuite to Facebook. That's more like uh, personal. So you can use uh, like a calendar, for example. It's to send out a more personalized message. Maybe you're doing something on these weekends that you want to post on Facebook. Or you can pre-schedule that personalized message using Hootsuite. I can't say you can't put it on Twitter as well, but it's real nice now because now you can separate the content for the delivery for where it's going. And you can also run Twitter into LinkedIn. So there's all these different paths you can take. Make sure you draw them out before you do them. So again, just keep it simple. WordPress to Twitter, WordPress to Facebook, WordPress to LinkedIn. Use Hootsuite to deliver messages to Twitter. Uh, on a scheduled basis, on a pre-scheduled basis, and have other messages of a more personal level, perhaps, that go to your Facebook page. Folks, that's keeping it simple. Uh, the, the real thing you want to avoid here is avoiding a, a web ring of feeds uh, just going everywhere and not knowing where they're ending up, and avoid daisy chains. So folks, I hope that helped explain how to create some powerful feeds and avoid duplicate content. If you have any questions, just let us know at the SEO alien.com. We'll do our best to answer them for you. Thanks again.